Hey everybody, Dr. Tim Turlop here. Welcome to this installment of Three Minutes to Vitality. And today I just want to touch on a study that just actually came out in the Journal of the American Medical Association, sometimes called JAMA. Um, and it was actually done not just a couple of weeks ago in November that it was published and it looked at uh, trends in mortality um, in our country relative, uh, they took the 15 uh, most prosperous uh, and uh, they were called developed countries. Um, they were looking at longevity since 1959 and looking at the last 60 years. And what we noticed was, was a trend. Well, it'll sound disturbing, there's a major upside, right? Because when we looked at from 1959 and for 50 years, we watched our uh, lifetime average, um, if you will, um, which was at 69.9. All right, so it was at 69.9 in 1959, and it actually increased by 10 years. That's a lot, right? Over the course of the next 50 years, it gradually and continually kept going up and up and up until about 2010, and we saw it flatten, and then it started its decreasing um, for three, four years consecutively. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened um, in any of the other 15 countries, only in our country. Now, what's interesting, that's only in the age group from 24 to 64, right? Isn't that interesting? It's only in working age Americans. Now, we still worked in 1972. We still worked in 1978 and 85 and 91, right? But we're seeing that happen in that trend. But in the same time frame, we break it down and we look at different age groups under 25. Well, guess what? From 1999 until 2017, we literally watched infant mortality decrease by 25%. So, right, so, so for, for children, for, for babies, and for young people, um, actually mortality continued to decline significantly. For 65 and older, well, we're just the opposite of what you'd think. We saw a 29% reduction from 1999 to 2019, seven, in this area. For over that 20 year period, we watched that actually decrease by 29% for people over 65 years old. Just the opposite of what you think. But from 24 to 64, wow, we actually started it's decreasing. What we noticed is, again, it goes back, that's the whole point of three minutes to vitality. That's the whole point of trillo chiropractic. Yeah, we love to help people when they have disc problems and migraines, neck pain, numb arms and hands, low back pain, sciatic, a herniated disc. That's all fantastic. And gratefully, we're very effective at helping with that. But what we also want to focus on is removing interferences to that innate expression in our bodies that lets us enjoy vitality, that lets us enjoy well-being, that lets us age with, without pain, gracefully and enjoying our lives. That's what it's about. And what we noticed, the most significant thing that was happening, there were 35 organic diseases that were all taking us more significantly. There's one that we're, the category that we're referring to is the hypertensive disorders. Um, and that would be things that hypertension itself and related stroke, um, a, a congestive arterial diseases, plugged arteries on the heart and other parts of the body, type two diabetes, my goodness gracious, 114% increase uh, death rate secondary to obesity. So what was really interesting and what the conclusion that's drawn with this is that it's lifestyle stuff that we're actually seeing this happening. So all the things that we talk about in terms of removing those interferences with the five pillars of health, from neurologic uh, freedom of, of movement that we get to actually control and coordinate all of our body functions from exercise to sleep to proper nutrition and even proper thought and mental attitude. Those five pillars that actually let us express and remove interferences to those five things, the body does what it does, right? So while it sounds distressing, oh my gosh, we're living less. Our children will live shorter than we do, could, but the good news is, is that those, it's lifestyle, it's choices. We aren't stuck in this um, where we actually don't have any, any room to move and that we actually have no power to change and to improve. It really is encouraging. Well, the numbers look on, on the surface of it, not good, right? The good news is it's very changeable. So while it looks like it could be bad, the hope reigns eternal because gratefully we were innately created to express well-being and vitality. So thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you then. Thank you.